do you seriously expect something better for this intro? After what after what we just watched together, you expected something better than that. You, and I, I know I was supposed to recap game two and three, but I don't have it in me to fake positivity about what happened in game two after what I just witnessed tonight. So, that being said, let's get right into the intro. I think as a Leaf fan, you kind of have to look to the future and say, boy, this is going to be a nice turn of the corner. Oh, hell no! The Leafs blow a 3 nothing lead to the Columbus Blue Jackets. They win in overtime. Jocker. You may be asking yourself, why am I not wearing my Leafs jersey? Here's why. If you think I'm going to put on the jersey that these guys wear after what I just witnessed tonight, you are insane. You know what? I, I will put on a jersey. Let, let me go get it for you guys. Yep, I'm wearing a Habs jersey. Say whatever you want. Disrespecting Leafs Nation. Blah, 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 blah. I do not care anymore. The only reason I have this jersey is because my mother is a Habs fan. And, you know, she is ten times happier than I am during this this hockey reason. You want to know why? Because uh, them being the biggest underdogs in this whole tournament are one game away from defeating the Pittsburgh Penguins and moving on to the actual playoff rounds. You know who's another team that's uh, one game away from eliminating a team and on the brink of moving on to the next playoff round? They had the Chicago Blackhawks against, against the Edmonton Oilers. My team still does not know how to defend a lead and is one game away from being eliminated from the Stanley Cup qualifiers. And it pisses me off to my core that I quite, I probably have w waited five months to see my team win one game and play four. I don't care. Say what you want. What they are, what this team is doing, they're playing good hockey. They are playing with actual heart and integrity. They are not wasting a single performance from Carey Price absolutely carrying that team on their back. They know, the whole Canadians locker room knows. I know for a fact that they know that Carey Price is their MVP and they're not letting that go to the waste. Look at the look at the Canadians and look at the Leafs. Do you really think that if the Leafs played the, the Penguins that they would be up 2-1 against them right now? Serious question. I honestly think they'd get swept. I shouldn't say swept. I think game two, uh, they would have beat pretty much any team in the league. That's besides the point. They're losing that series. I'm so done with having hope in this team and, and getting the same exact result year after year after year after year. It pisses me off to my core. It hurts me that every, it pisses me off more. And I said this in my last video, when all they do is talk, they use so much of this, but they play like dog shit. The Toronto Maple Leafs, Kyle Dubas, all the players involved, they tell you what you want to hear. They want to get your hopes up because you know you know what? They know they're going to get that ticket money next year if there's fans. They, they want to get your hopes up. They say all these things, Kyle Dubas saying, the boys are, are, are ready, readier than ever. They've been all putting in the work in during this whole pause. They, they had hope this whole time that uh, hockey would be back and they wanted to show everyone that they were going to be the team to beat. He is getting f the, the team to beat? The Canadians would beat them now. Any team, it, except for maybe the Rangers, any team in this qualifier would be beating the Leafs right now. Team to beat? <laughs> T team to send to go fucking golfing. They're not the team to beat. John Tavares is in the locker room piping up the boys saying this group is, is more determined than ever. Is our captain smoking dope? 
Let's do a drug test on on John Tavares if that's what he's thinking. That this is the team that is determined and and, and thinks that they're gonna be the team to beat. Honestly, I never thought the day would come that I am making YouTube videos, making TikToks, making all these things, majority based around the Leafs. And I would be wearing a Habs jersey in one of those videos. I thought maybe one day when I'm making, I always had this dream to, to make these videos and, and to talk about hockey for a living. And that's, that's what I want to do with my life. But I, I thought eventually, within the 18 years of my life, they would have won, won one Stanley Cup. Just one. Just one. And you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I know for a fact that when the Leafs blew the 3 nothing lead tonight, shocker, that everyone had a flashback to 2013. Everyone did. I did. I know exactly where I was, what happened, what I did after that collapse happened. I remember everything because it broke me. I couldn't believe what they gave up, the opportunity they gave up. And we all just had the same exact flashback because we know that since 2013, this nothing has changed. We got better players. We have a better team than how we were built in 2013. Are we better though? Are we? On paper, we're better. Talent-wise, we're better. In terms of what our franchise is all about or what they want to be, in terms of where the players' heads are at, are we better? I can't tell you, I can't tell you yes. They just blew another 3 nothing lead against the Columbus Blue Jackets, who are definitely not known for their offensive prowess. Let's just put this all in perspective for, for a moment. The last time the Leafs blew something like this was, like I said before, Game 7, 2013, against the Boston Bruins. I was in the fifth grade when that happened. I remember absolutely everything. Main point is, I was in the fifth grade. The last time the Leafs won a playoff round, and I would even consider, I would take a Stanley Cup qualifying playoff round, because I, I was two years old the last time the Leafs won a playoff round. I was two years old. I have never seen, the first time I saw the Leafs in the playoffs was 2013 against the Bruins. That was the first time I saw them in the playoffs. I have never seen them win a playoff round. And that's not saying anything about me. That's saying everything about the Leafs. I was two years old. Are you kidding me? You can't win a playoff round since 2004? Are you serious? I was in the fifth grade when I watched my first Leaf playoff game and I was two years old when they won their first playoff round. Now I can go to the convenience store and buy a lottery ticket. In Quebec, I can do anything. I can go to a casino, I can go to a bar. But this team, in all those years, all these years I've wasted hoping for this team, I have not seen them win one playoff round. This is, this is for all you Penguins fans, Bruins fans, a pretty much every other fan base except for like Arizona and any team that hasn't won a cup. You take you take it for granted. If I won a if I if I'm the Penguins and I won a cup a couple of years ago and I'm losing to the Canadians, I do not give a crap. Not just one Stanley Cup. Three? Three Stanley Cups. In your lifetime. Probably more if you're older watching this video. Definitely more if you're older watching this video. My father was two years old the last time the Leafs won a Stanley Cup. I am 18. My father was two years old the last time the Leafs won a Stanley Cup. And seriously, I said this in the last video, but I'm dead set on this now. What the hell are we doing with Tyson Berry? Why did we make that trade? I love Alex Kerfoot. I miss Kadri, I miss that three-headed monster. I miss the grit, the integrity, the heart that he played with. But he's gone, and again, I, I'm, I'm over that. I can get over that, I know I can. What I can't get over is how Tyson Berry is being used. This guy is an NHL veteran and is playing on a third defensive pairing with Martin Marinson. And you could say, you know what? Maybe the Leafs and Tyson Berry, 
they just weren't a good fit from the start. Started off on the wrong foot, it's, it's never just going to gel. But we knew this a long time ago. And you didn't, you didn't think maybe to, you know, move him at the deadline considering he's been a one year rental for, you know, we, we knew this when we made the Kadri trade. We knew it wasn't gonna work out. You didn't wanna at least get a pick for it or maybe a replacement defenseman or add to your offense something other than a third pair defenseman. Why are you using him like that? I don't, I don't understand some things that the Leafs do. I love the Leafs lines on offense. What was the point of trade? And, and don't get me wrong, I was very excited when that trade happened. But if you're not going to use Tyson Berry the way that Tyson Berry has been used his whole career, if that was never your intention, Mr. Kyle Dubas, who knew about his head coach at the time, Mike Babcock, who knew that Tyson Bear was not gonna play with Morgan Riley under Mike Babcock. First thing he said when Jake Muzzin uh, got acquired from the Toronto Maple Leafs, well, uh, shoots left. You need right-handed defensemen. They come at a premium. Still, Jake Muzzin is a great addition to the back end. He still has been a great addition to the back end. But even when we acquired Jake Muzzin, who is he supposed to play with? Morgan Riley. When we acquired Tyson Berry, who is he supposed to play with? Morgan Riley. And now we are in August, after a five month pause, he's in the final year of his contract. He has lost so much money just playing for this team. And we are playing him with Martin Marinson. I am not talking about a single ounce of this game tonight. I don't have the strength to do that, okay? You know what? It was great to see Robertson score his first NHL goal. I love to see that. I loved his reaction. He seemed ecstatic. Cody Cece scored a goal. When does that happen? But you gave up a 3 nothing lead, and all of that greatness goes to... If, if you don't beat the Columbus Blue Jackets, if you don't come back from this from this 2-1 deficit right now, there needs to be significant changes. Anyone outside of Marner, Matthews, is available. All right, your captain is available too. Our captain, John Tavares. I love him. I was ecstatic when he became a Leaf. If you need to make that significant of a trade or that significant of a move that will bolster this defensive lineup, bolster anything for that matter to help fix this team, you have to pull the trigger. Because if they lose to the Columbus Blue Jackets, this team is never going to work. It's never going to work. You can move Kapanen, you can move Janssen, even Kerfoot. I love Kerfoot. I think he was the best part of the Kadri trade. But if you lose to the Columbus Blue Jackets, especially the way that you lost tonight, there is no way that Leafs Nation is not going to be coming for everyone's head to make a move. I hate talking about the Leafs this way. I have so much passion for this team. I, uh, it, it actually pisses me off that I have this much passion for this team because it ruins my night when they pull crap like this. Again, this isn't no Steve Dangle Leaf wall, but I mean, I got Joffrey Lupul's Winter classic helmet over here. I got my Leafs memorabilia back here. This is all I can fit on this wall because I'm getting a better studio eventually, but this is what I have to work with now. And you can tell I love this team and I'm a huge fan of this team and I want to see this team succeed. I don't want to talk about the Leafs like this. This is the last thing that I want to do. But if you're going to, if you're going to keep disappointing me year after year, I like, in, unless you make significant changes, unless you show me that something's different. I'm, I'm sick of hearing this. I'm not hearing any of the press conferences tomorrow or, or even after tonight's game because I'm going to hear the same thing. You know, Columbus came out. Uh, you know, they played their system. You know, Tortorella got the boys going again. You know, he's a good coach. Um, you know, they're a good team. They play hard, and we just got to make sure that we don't let the foot off the gas, and we just got to keep playing after the first and second period. Uh, we got to get back at them tomorrow and even the series up and hopefully bring it to Sunday and, you know, take the series home. That's what you're going to hear. I mean, it's pretty much scripted. 
That was right off the spot. It's pretty much what every Leaf player says after a loss like this. No one gets pissed off. I bet I'm more pissed off than half that locker room. I hope not. I hope I'm wrong. I'm also gonna take that this off now. This has been enough torture for me and I think everyone gets the point. I, it's disgusting. I just can't do this anymore. Tomorrow, you have to show all of Leafs Nation what you've been talking about. You need to go full throttle. There's no... T Actually, no, I shouldn't say that. You experiment everything tomorrow. You don't play Tyson Berry with Martin Marinson, and you don't play Cody CC the whole time with Morgan Riley. You, sometimes, if a line's not working during tomorrow, you switch it up. Everything should be full throttle tomorrow. You put it all on the line tomorrow. Because there is going to be an outrage if the Leafs lose to the Columbus Blue Jackets tomorrow. And we're gonna be the laughing stock of the NHL. Which I can't wait for. <sighs> Once again, the Leafs of 3-0 blow it and lose 4-3 in overtime. It's the Columbus Blue Jackets making it one game away from being eliminated from the Stanley Cup qualifiers. That's all for this video, boys. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And remember, keep your buckets on. It's a tough world out there. And I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow with a happier video. And hopefully on Sunday with a series win. I'll see you guys later.